<laughs> oh god, dude, that'd be the worst reality so if you did. What if I was, man? So the world would be totally devilish. Like, fucking, you know, undo it. I'd have my fun. You know, I'd crucify Jonah for. I think you don't realize that I would beat you. You know, I would beat you in the time travel game. Or Jason. How'd you beat me? What? No, we're allies well, here. We're going against John. Of... We could live together. We could co-rule. We dude. could, we could, do. we could become the, ex- the accelerationist party is yeah. going to overrule you, John. Unfortunately, me and, me and Jason are going to accelerate this time a question so of quickly. Like who would win. I'm like, I, I'm assuming that you guys are good natured. And that you aren't going to expect me backstabbing you. That's what this entire discussion is about. Wait, so are you just... This entire discussion is about how you're a bad friend? Is that what this is about? Well, if you recall, you know, if you had a more than a goldfish brain, I said, would you be mad at me if I betrayed you in a time travel conundrum? Mm, Or would you respect my, like, you know, my... I'd probably be technocratic yeah. ambitions. I know? think the conversation what? evolved from that point to how would you take power? We're past that point. Okay. We, we're long past that. Well, now you're discussing whether or not I would be able to, you know, overcome you. Well, yeah, because we we've like looped a, a, well, I've opened a new argument in the train of conversation. Yeah, we can have that conversation, but you, we just got to make sure that we package that up and remember that that's irrelevant to the other discussion. You still haven't told us how you're going to take over the world. Okay, we have that discussion then? No, more importantly, what are your policies then once you do take over the All world? All right, yeah, both our answers are mad for I'm you killing us. So emperor. I'm pretty sure you would be mad no. if we killed you too. Let's just close the other discussion out first. Okay? Listen, this wasn't even an idea in your head, man. You're thinking too small. If you If this was your idea and I... Getting, I was the one getting backstabbed. I'd probably not be so, you know, mad about it. You know, that's probably not true. I think you're a liar. Well, if we were like, you know, if we both had the same idea, you know, and you know, then you betrayed me, then you know, maybe I would be a little. Bit you mad didn't about propose it. a specific area. You you just said if we were going for time travel and I betrayed you for time travel shenanigans, would you be angry? <laughs> Yeah. I, and I would assume that we both have time travel at that point, or the you know the the thought that oh my god we achieved time travel we could go time travel and you just instantly kill me, <laughs> like yeah <laughs> I'd be pretty upset <laughs> I'd be pretty upset yeah pretty mad I'd be like damn <laughs> John poison the victory champagne yeah dude it's like uh it's like in what the what like Watchmen where Mister Manhattan poisons the fucking champagne and they all die. All the scientists. I remember that. But anyway. That's fair See, enough. here's the thing, though. Right, with time travel. Because now we got to talk about the progression, you know. What kind of system are we in? What kind of time travel system? Um, Is it like... I think the best time travel system is like when you jump back in time, you've created a new timeline. So that's the beginning point of that timeline. And then everything else can like progress as a fluid state instead of just being gay. It's kind of like being able to change the past. So I don't like that time travel. Hmm. True. Well, to me, I, you know, it's like, you know, it's not even my world if I'm like going to a different time travel. If I, if like my time travel is causing me to just go to a different timeline, I didn't actually affect any of the people in like affecting another, you know, set of people. True, true. I also don't like that because that implies that nothing you do actually has an outcome. It just you're moving. You're just moving to the new neighborhood where. You know what you wanted to happen has happened or is happening, or yeah. Anything. But to me, that's the only way time, real time travel, ever makes sense. Because like, if you change things too much, then like, if you adjust or kill a scientist that had an effect on making 
time travel, then you just disappear. You're dead. Paradox. It's just over. You get you get you get your ass paradox, and then it becomes gay. You know, I kind of like the primary one where it just like kind of fucking happens. Oh, like you going back in time is actually like you know, is progressing the timeline further. Like, it's not, you know, you've looped back and it's it's like a video recording or you just copy and paste, like, old time in front of the new time. Yeah, kind of. I, I think the primer meme is that, like... Fuck, I'm trying to remember. It's just, like, you duplicate yourself. Hmm. So, like, he goes back in time... And he stops himself from. He stops him. Well, he goes back in time. The first thing he does is like fuck up some guy at a party, and then he's like realizes that that has the effect of someone dying, because the guy goes crazy. So he goes back in time and, and kidnaps himself and locks himself in his attic, and then he goes about his his shit. And then the second time he comes, the third time he realizes he needs to change something. He comes back in time and he tries to do it again, but then he can't. He can't overpower himself because he's like tired and shit, and he's like dying from time travel or whatever the fuck. And so then he negotiates with himself. I don't know. I guess that doesn't really solve any of the paradoxes, but I am also not remembering all the details of that time travel very well. What are we talking about? Dude, I don't know. Maybe we should get off the time travel concept. True. Anyway, you should just ask plain Jason plainly. Jason, you'd be mad if I came and killed you, if I just shot you. In the After end. describing <laughs> your plans, yes. <laughs> I don't like any... I'm oh, sorry. I was going to talk about time travel again, so uh, if you don't want to do that, then... I was just going to say, it <laughs> sounds like any now. yutz with a time machine would be able to replicate it. <laughs> any yutz with a time machine? Which is why it's, I, you know, I've got to seize the moment to do it before some, you know, before we loose time travel on the world. Yeah, yeah, before it becomes a fucking, you know, it's not cool anymore. It's mainstream. Someone has to be, it's not about being cool, it's just that any yetz that has time travel can, you know, gets to become the demagogue if they want to. So, you know, someone's just got to fucking be the man and kill yeah. everybody. I wouldn't even want to be a demagogue. <laughs> I just want to go back and hang out in Rome. Dude, that'd be fucking sick. I'd love yeah. to, like, go to the 1950s. Here's what, okay, here's what I want to do with time travel and not, you know, ignoring any plans. I want to go to the future. Where they have like implants, they basically like have all immunity disease, and you get to like make yourself basically an android, but feel like a human. I'll go get myself android, and then I'll go back to Rome and just be like a fucking god and just chill. Yeah. It'd be really cool. I want plans to be much more humble. I just and grandfather be, paradox yeah. yourself by changing the course of history so that you're never born. Yeah. No, no, I'm not going to change anything in Rome. I'm just going to go there. I'm not going to do anything major. How do you get to be the demigod without? I just get to be a, you know, unkillable golden god that just sits and eats grapes all day and meets Julius Caesar. Or maybe I'll go back to Greek so I can meet, like, Plato. And I don't know. I'd like to go high-five Jesus and thank him for creating America. <laughs> Cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty sick. And then he just says, yes, my child. <laughs> yeah, just in full like, English. Like <laughs> yeah, yeah. he just like, looks at you. To emigrate to America. Do you want to become a Mormon? <laughs> and we just don't realize the Mormon scenario. <laughs> you like start hanging out with God, and all of a sudden he pulls out this golden slab, and your all the color drains from your face as he starts. He writes the Book of John at the top of the fucking thing. You're like, oh. Yeah, would you assassinate Jesus if that? Were Okay. <laughs> yeah. you know, yeah. You'd have to kill Jesus, Jason, as you be your duty. I think I could live with Mormons existing, and even if he was a Mormon. I don't know how. Hey, man, with no Jesus, no America, no M16, no cheeseburger. <laughs> Shit. All right, I guess we have to deal with the Mormons. No freedom. No, we'd be like Euro trash. Yeah. <coughs> we'd be a country of Germans. <laughs> well, that'd be better than being British, at least. 
True. <laughs> God, I love time travel stories so much. I also like the time travel where... Well, I it's kind of the same thing as not being able to affect like anything by time traveling, but it's also cool is the time travel where you go back to do shit and everything you're doing is just you know it's just falling into place. It's just causally yeah. Uh, you're you're already affected by your own time travel, and you, everything you're doing just you know perpetuates history as it already happened. Yeah, I like that as well. That's a good one. I also like uh, the Final Destiny time travel. They not from Final Destiny, but essentially where you try to change something and the universe goes no, and it does it anyway, just <laughs> like a different oh, yeah, way. Or it, 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 yeah, it resists you. Like you try to stop, you kill the man that like creates the telegram, and then it gets created faster by another person. It's implemented, so it keeps the same timeline. You know. Hmm. You killed my brother. Graham Bell. <laughs> okay, he knows who invented the time. The yeah. Time machine. He knows <laughs> who invented John. He knows who. <laughs> <laughs> he knows who invented no! the Book of Mormon. I knew he was the most mortal enemy of man. And his point is, I would be mad. Yeah, that's very yeah, dude. Though. Fuck you, honestly. Fair enough, man. How can I be mad? Yeah. I just said that if we all invented time travel, that I would kill I us. just announced randomly that I would kill you so that I could be the demigod. That would be pretty crazy. Because yeah. it, it's really an admission of like how I see our friendship. It's like, you know, I would see, I see myself as a better, you know, leader for humanity than any of you. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no one <laughs> thinks so. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I'd rather have Dominic. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. No, I don't either. think. No, I don't think anybody would choose that. <laughs> you know, come but on. But I'd rather have Gabe. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Status quo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody would just be chilling. Elden Ring would be Elder Scrolls would have to be taught in public schools, but I think that's something we could abide by. Elder studies. My dad was talking about his, it's his birthday tomorrow. Oh shit! He's like, "Ooh, should I get Elden Ring?" Ooh, because it's like the it's one of those. Yeah. Yeah. How do you describe it? The marriage situation where, like, oh, it's it's your birthday. Buy yourself a present from me. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you prefer that to no? Okay. I don't even really like. I think like funny gifts are better, you know. Than that, than getting something you want. Yeah. Somebody's getting forty whooping whoopy cushions. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, I don't know. I guess maybe because like an I can't entire barrel of crude oil. I can't shop for my dad and mom because they could just buy whatever they want anyway. You know, it's not like I could gift them yeah. anything that they like want. It's not like a kid where they, you know, they can't go and buy something, you know. So you just got to buy them something that's cool. And I think that's what, you know, it's just fun. It's just more effort, more fun, mm -hmm. more fun. Well, that's, dilemma. that's the fundamental dilemma of gift giving. True. Isn't it? Yeah. Dude, I'm glad. I've finally my dad's birthday was this week. And I'm glad because now that I can buy liquor and gars, I just can give him liquor and gars. <laughs> and you'd be out here like, oh dude. And dude, there's God. there's nobody that doesn't like receiving like a nice whiskey and a gar for like it's great, you know. You can never have too many. Yeah, it's, uh, I was going to say that exactly. Is there, is, is there such a thing? There's as many as you can fit, and then... And more. You get more, and then you smoke you, them. You buy more. <laughs> you buy more. You buy another box to put them in. Then you get a, you get another useful gift. You get, oh, oh I did need door. another box. I got so many gars. Yeah, we. No. Oh. I like liquor and gars. Who doesn't? 
Well, I've been sober for about 18 hours. (laughs) (laughs) I thought you were going to throw out an unrealistic. (laughs) Yeah, like two days. Your slides are the he's gone down. It makes Charlie the ch- Clown sad when you cut yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's so fucking funny in my head. <laughs> kind of like imagining clown. like hiring a clown to tell your teenage daughter not to cut themselves. <laughs> you play Calliope music? You play the Calliope <laughs> Let's, here, I'll work on your cloud voice while I find some calliope <laughs> music. Thoughts, Jason? It was okay. Does hiring a clown to tell your teenage daughter not to cut herself a fucking meme? That's a funny concept, yeah. I think that's yeah. funny. I think that's fucked up. I really? Think you joke about self-harm. Since when? Um, I've been sober for... <laughs> Ten <laughs> fuck was that? I think Jenna was clapping. Was oh, here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Every time you cut yourself, you make Charlie the yeah. Clown sad. <laughs> Turn that frown upside down. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you cut? You can't go to the circus when you're bleeding. What you post it? Just ten seconds. It bobs. Oh, you weren't you weren't fucking listening to that while I was saying that. It would have been a thousand times funnier. <laughs> <laughs>